Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution! Brought to you by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Oh boy, it's game day. It is game day. Super Bowl Sunday. My dick is harder than a rock. Strong as I could be. I could rock. I got go. an old school E Dick uniform yeah, on, dude. Eric, Eric Dickerson. Dickerson. Yeah. Eric Dickerson. Yeah. We got a guy with a fucking mask on today. Yeah, what's good? What's good? Yeezy Busta. Man, I I'm gonna be honest. You're you're like the Banksy of sneakers. I guess. I guess, yeah. yeah. You showed up with that mask on. I was like, oh shit, we're about to get uh, molested. Or raped. <laughs> or raped. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. Dan's a strong rape candidate. I don't know if you know that. Uh-huh. He's very weak. <laughs> okay. Very, very small features. Easier, um, easier target, huh? Yeah. Okay. My feet are normal size, but my toes are really small. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. And really he still easy. has all of his baby teeth. I do, yeah. All oh, of his wow. baby yeah. teeth. Not a lot of people know that whatsoever. No. Uh, what's, what's with the mask? So it just kind of became my thing. Like ever since I started, I never really showed my face. And at first, it was just because this like really rich Asian billionaire from. Um, You're a rich Asian. No, billionaire? no, I can't th- tell with the mask. No, on, no sorry, I don't know that if I'm showbiz, muffled. Show baby. Yeah. You could be a rich Asian billionaire. <laughs> no, but uh, so what I do is like I, I call out people who wear fake shit, right? Yeah. So like fake Yeezys, fake Louis Vuitton, Supreme designer, streetwear, anything. Yeah. And there was this really rich. I don't know how rich he was, uh, billionaire. I think it was in Taiwan or something. Okay. And he. I called him out because he had like all these fake Yeezys, and I thought it was like the funniest thing ever. And he threatened to sue me. So my uh, what would the suit be? It would be defamation. defamation yeah. But I talked to my f- uh, my friend. His mom was a lawyer, and she told me basically that um, they can't sue me if I'm speaking the truth, right? So if you know if I say his shit's fake and it is fake, that's not defamation. That's just facts, right? Right. But just in case. I always thought, like, no face, no case. So that's why I've been wearing the mask Yeah, that's ever since. why when I murder someone, I remove their face afterwards. Yeah, that, yeah. That, makes, that makes sense, I cut sense, their actually. face off. I've got a closet full of cases. That's, 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 that's my second of reason. people, by the well, way. Hey. And he's, he's got a whole closet full of faces and heads. Um, maybe, well, I can, maybe I can borrow one. He wears a, you yeah. know, you know yeah. what a skin mask is? So he'll wear, wear other people's skin, uh, okay. just as a mask. It makes know. me feel different. Could you could you make me could you make me one so I can hide my face too? Oh yeah, like yeah. Maybe, Who yeah. do you want to be? What yeah. what skin face do you want to be? If you could be anyone, skin wise, uh, I'd go Asian because they're super smooth. Well, I mean, you, they could be <laughs> nineteen or seventy six. You don't know what those motherfuckers. Uh, I mean, huh. I don't know. Think about it. Yeah, yeah I'll, let, let me think about it. I'll, I'll get back to you. I feel like a Lucy Lou today. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's me. I, I feel like a little tiny Lucy Lou. Like that's, I would wear her face around today and just be a nice little Lucy Why you, Lou. You, it's, that sounded really gay, the way you were saying that. Did it really? Yeah, a little bit. I thought, I thought it sounded super manly. No, well, nothing you say sounds super manly. Ah, look. There's not, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with how a little voice touch of femme. A little more grizzly right nothing there. wrong with a little touch of femme. Some people are Bruce. Some people are a Caitlin in this world, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have we talked about our uh, our short story, Back to Bruce? Oh, please. You want to tell him? Yeah, so it's... Uh, has it's Bruce, by the way, has Bruce ever worn fake Yeezys or anything? Bruce. Bruce Jenner. Jenner. Caitlin oh. Jenner. Caitlin. Um, no, look, definitely not because he's... His son-in-law uh, is Yeezy, so it's yeah, like, hey, yeah. all right. No, know? no fakes over there. Yeah, so. <laughs> I, I, I'm guessing he gets them for free, or she does. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm still calling uh, him. Is it Z now? I don't know. I think that with the pronouns, it's probably Z. That's I fucking showbiz, yeah. though. I can <laughs> never know. All that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I live in L.A., so it's uh, yeah, yeah, pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So back to the short story. It's basically a guy who gets his dick cut off and mm-hmm. then regrets it later, and is getting a, he's getting his dick reattached, and it's his story. Yeah, it's, it's called, called Back, back to, Bruce. to Bruce. Back to Bruce, yeah. Yeah. It's it, going to be a play. It, wow. It, it's going to be a, uh, <laughs> a, a 14-hour play all in Russian. <laughs> Actually, we're going to do that all in Russian. Um, just there's a we have a huge Russian fan base that loves, Russians, loves yeah. Bruce Jenner, old school Bruce. Wow. The new school, it's just they don't they don't identify with it, you know. Yeah, they don't care what he identifies well, with. You know what's crazy? Back when Family Guy used to be good, I actually just watched this episode like probably like a week ago. 
they were making fun of Bruce Jenner for being like feminine and like dancing for all these. Oh yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Have you yeah. seen that episode? Oh, yeah. the, the that was thing years with ago. Guy and the Simpsons. They're calling shots 20 years in advance. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, you could go through all of their shit. They have, and there's a reason for it. So they have the best writers on the planet. Uh, Family Guy in particular, uh, we, before we went on air, I've worked with uh, Seth MacFarlane before. Yeah. They go, just to stay fresh and current, because that's the only way that show can be that good for that long. Every three years, they cycle out writers so okay. they get in new ones usually a show tries to keep the same writers forever we're all a family and it's all that other shit and that's cool to say but if you're doing a show for 20 years you want it to keep it relatively fresh you got to get new writers i mean some of yeah, the people that worked on this conan o'brien started with the simpsons correct and, you know and so I mean? most of them go on to yeah. do amazing shit but they those those two teams in particular hire the best of the best uh, and right now on today's show we have the best of the best in the business sneaker head wise <laughs> You're the dude, right? So. Have you even said so. the fucking dude? We haven't even said his fucking name yet. It's Yeezy Buster. Oh. Yeah. And that's at Yeezy Buster. At Yeezy Buster. It's at Instagram. Yeezy Buster. I, You're the fucking dude sneaker-wise in the world. Dan likes to wear New Balance 95s. Um, yeah, dad shoes. <laughs> I mean, dad dad swag is kind of in right now. It, it is. is. Yeah. It is. It, it is. totally is. And I want to I get into that because there's a new fad right now that is going down in the sneaker world, which is fucking retarded to me. It is old school, like dad, but like very padded. Uh, I mean, I don't even know what these these. I'm looking at them right now. These fucking. This looks like somebody's oh, like the, orthopedic shoes. Yeah, the Wave Runners. Yes, the seven hundreds. Yeah, yeah. But they're going for like three hundred dollars for like. You look like you're on your eighth hour at a fucking you know hospital. It looks like your <laughs> shoes have melted at the bottom. Yeah, and the, they resolidified. Would the, you ever buy that shit? I actually have three pairs of Oh, you did not. <laughs> but here, hold on. Let me tell you. So uh, Kanye actually did a pre-release on that. So basically, you bought it. I think it was during the summer, and then they ended up shipping at the end of the year. Right. And they were $300 retail. But they were reselling for like thousands. Yes. Yeah, like ridiculous. 1200 bucks. Yeah. And then they restocked them so many times now that they're going for retail again because like there's so many pairs. Sure. But at, fir- at first, people hated them. Like absolutely hated them, despised the shoe, and then when people started getting them in the mail and they saw that they were worth a thousand dollars, then people started liking them. But but here's the thing about that that whole world to me, right? Yeah, I love sneakers. Um, we've had we we look one of our buddies, uh, Brendan Shaw, big big sneakerhead, uh, yeah. fighter in the kid, fighter in the kid. Okay, yeah, oh, for right. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. big sneakerhead. There is some amazing sneakers out there that look cool. You can wear them out anywhere, and they look fucking dope as shit. Absolutely, these are not them. Well, so I would say with that shoe, it, it, you need to kind of be into fashion, into like high fashion, because like that's the new wave, you know, like Balenciaga, for example. Have you seen the Balenciaga Triple S? Yes, yes, yes. So that's like the thing right now, unfortunately. It's, uh, it's yeah. terrible. Because <laughs> yeah. don't you look at it from the perspective of, all right, if I see, if I'm, if I'm wearing these and I see a picture of myself in 10 years, I'm going to cringe that I was actually wearing these fucking things. Well, that's kind of how it works, you know. That, like, Weird, right? Yeah, absolutely. But like, but like, you go back to you know, my, my, like my high school and all that shit. Like we had Air Max ninety fives, like that. I was rocking that in high school. Yeah, oh geez, yeah. To this day, those are dope. Where it's just like, all right, great. I look at old pictures of those and I'm like, shit, I love those shoes. I look at these and I'm like, I these weren't cool in the eighties. These aren't cool now. It's everybody following a fucking trend, and then hey, congratulations! We, f- I feel like everybody's fooling you. Like somebody's gonna tap you on the shoulder and be like, "Hey, you fucking believe yeah, we make we people wear you. these?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be well, if I if I was in fashion. That's all I would try to do is get people to wear the most ridiculous shit ever, and then come back several years later and be like, "You guys are fucking idiots." Do you think that's part of it? I I would say no, and I I only say that because. I res- because okay, certain shoes like Air Max ninety fives, Air Max nineties, Jordan ones even. Jordan one to me is the best Nike yeah, it's same, sneaker classic, same, silhouette man. of yeah, all yeah. time. And I, I have a pair. Like yeah. I don't even because as a kid, you know, fuck, I was real young. But like when people had those, they were so nice and so thought of that I yeah. was like, oh man, I don't even take them out of the fucking box. Yeah, everyone Stupid. loves Jordan ones. They're just sitting in my fucking house. I've never worn them once, but they're the they're the <laughs> they're, dopest. They're probably worth the something. Pinnacle. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, I always. I always say, like, you know, I have respect for Kanye in the sense that he created his own silhouette with, like, the Yeezy 350. Like, that's actually one of my favorite shoes. And Same. I, I, lo- I love those. The, the, the original ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the original Yeezys, man, are... Fire. Yes. And he changed everybody's, the game. Everybody's copying that shoe now, Everyone too. is copying that shoe. Every single 
company across the board, he did that. Yeah, and it's, absolutely. And they're rad. Like, mm-hmm. those shoes are fucking dope as shit. Absolutely. The new ones I, I can't get behind. Have you met him in person? Uh, Con- I've never met Kanye. I've met, like, a lot of his friends. I've met people like Drake who, like, hate Kanye. And, like, I'm actually tight with, like, the OVO crew. Really? Yeah, so it's... But I'm still, like, you know, Kanye is my favorite artist of all time. Like, I really want to meet him one day. I've yeah, been yeah. within, like, five feet of him. But um, I think we got our answer. Then we're gonna take Kanye's face. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'd wow. Wear Kanye's well, face. That's for black a face. Bit. I don't. Know, I think I would get in trouble. For no, that. it's yeah, fine yeah. if you take the whole face. Oh, you take the whole, if you're actually wearing okay. the head. It's fine. Yeah. But if I paint it, it's not okay. So, the, so the shit no, with Drake no, is real. <laughs> Drake, Drake hates him. Yeah, it's crazy. Like I, I don't know if he, I should say he, too much. It's fine. But like, let me ask you this: Did he? Did he? Or does he still believe that he was the one who leaked the shit about his kid and the stripper and all that? Well, one thing about. Um, Drake and kind of Drake's crew just in general they're they're pretty sensitive so like if they hear something they'll just hop on it right away right and uh, you know me having the word Yeezy in my name oh, excuse me me having the word Yeezy in my name like I, I went to Drake's house I was there like six months ago and um, I'm friends with one of Drake's close friends and I was just walking on the basketball court because we were taking photos and stuff. Sure. Because like, we did like a giveaway together. Uh, one dude walks out and he's like, oh, who the fuck is this guy? And then uh, my friend goes, oh, this is Easy Bust. And he goes, fuck Easy. Like right to my face. And I was like, I've never met you before. No idea who the fuck you are. He's like, fuck Easy. Straight to my face. Like, get the fuck out of here. And I was like, dude, like this is part of my name. You know what I mean? Like, I have no beef with you guys. You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but like, they were mad sensitive even about the word Easy. Like, How long ago was this? Uh, I'd say like six months ago. Shit, so this is right when everything was really yeah. at the height yep. of, like... Well, people, like, I, I don't know if you guys know, but Drake was supposed to sign with Adidas. Yes. Yeah. I, I actually saw the shoe. I saw the shoe, like, they, the Adonis, they showed right? it to me. It wasn't actually going to be called Adonis. Okay. It got scrapped. It was going to be something else, but I saw it. It was a really dope sneaker, and I was supposed to get, like, an early sample and all this stuff. I was super hyped for it. Yeah. But because of that push of T stuff, he backed out and went back to Nike. Really? Yep. Just I didn't, because I of didn't that. know that story. Well, because Pusha T signed to Adidas. Ah, uh, uh, mm-hmm. fuck. That's and then crazy. He fu- and then he found out about the Kanye thing. Allegedly, Kanye saying that, um, you know, uh, okay, he was the one about who leaked the stripper and the kid and all yeah, that yeah. other shit. But I, look, we, I listened to a podcast with uh, Pusha T. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe he was on Joe Joe Budden's podcast. Or, okay. I, I forget. Anyways, but Pusha T said, "Look, I found out from a, a girl that was fucking." One of Drake's best friends that, you know, she pillow talked about the yeah. child and all, all this other shit. And he was like, Kanye didn't tell me shit. I don't know what's to believe and what's not in that whole sitch. Either way, Drake got fucking bodied in that song. And that was, Absolutely, to yeah. me, that was like a almost a death kill for that guy. Where Drake was larger than life. Me personally, when you're that big, I, he's evolved beyond a rapper. He's, he's pretty much a, a, a global pop star at this point. Oh, yeah. No reason for you to go after diss tracks because you're just lending validity to somebody else's thing. You don't need it. You're Drake already. Like, yeah, so when true. he dropped that track, I knew Pusha T was going to probably fucking murder him on that song. Yeah. And that's what happened. And to me, it almost took the mystique away with kind of like a Tiger Woods sitch where it was just like, oh, man, all right. Uh, maybe Drake isn't that great. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I think I think Drake should have responded because that was literally like the biggest thing on the internet. Like but, right after that happened. I don't happened. think he could because if he did... Then Pusha T drops it. Well, let's say Pusha T drops another one that yeah. absolutely crushes him. Yeah. Then you're 0 for 2. And Dr- look, Drake went through this himself with Meek Mill. True. He put out two against Meek, mm-hmm. murdered him across the board. Yeah. There was almost no coming back for Meek. It, unless you have that jail sitch if he's stuck in jail and then everybody was rooting for him and, and jail reform and all that shit. And then yeah. he gets out. Then they come together and make a song and all that stuff. You've almost kind of forgotten about it now. With the back-to-back songs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with the Pusha T song, I don't forget, man. Yeah. It's still on like a, a workout mix for me. Yeah. Where I'm like, That song's Fuck. fire. I know. It's crazy, yeah. right? So, I, I don't know. I wish, to me, I, I probably, I, I wish that Drake never would have even did any diss tracks whatsoever and then just continue to be a pop star. Because Drake, in my opinion, is the only one that's still dropping fucking bangers that you listen to in a club or in Absolutely. your car. Like The rest of this, Dan and I talk about this, it's all mumble yeah, rap it's, shit. It's, weak. it's all SoundCloud rappers where yeah. it's just like, man, you know, we talk about Post Malone. I, I, obviously, I think you're you're friends with him. Um, uh, we, we got to meet 21 Savage. We tried to have him on the show. We, we ended up getting backstage patches with, with 21 Savage. And it's like, that style of rapping, it's just so... 
how much money you got? A lot. What are you going to do? A lot. A <laughs> the lot. The game's definitely changed. Uh, I'm just, man, I'm doing shit a yeah. lot. He but looks like he's bored to be alive. It still slaps, though. You know? uh, it, it does, yeah. but you're like, man, do you have a pulse? Like, I want to see 21 <laughs> Savage just smile and be excited about something. Like, <laughs> yeah. hey, mom, just something weird and yeah, off kilter yeah. where you're like, all right, cool, you're alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, still, you're a human with a pulse. Yeah, I have uh, one story, actually, with 21 Savage. So, um... Posty came to San Diego, and uh, I. And Twenty One Savage was opening up for him, right? Yeah, he yeah. was. Yeah. And uh, backstage, like Post was getting ready, he was like getting dressed and stuff. And Twenty One Savage had just finished his set, and uh, he was playing two K, like uh, basketball. Yeah, two K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just like sat down with him. I was like, oh, like let's run it, right? Totally kicked my ass. I lost by like forty points because I'm terrible at NBA. 2K. Sure. But like he was that that's the only time I've ever really seen him be like excited. Animated? Yeah, he was like he's like, Oh, you suck. You suck. And obviously you know, all these bad words and stuff that I can't say on, on yeah, the you mic. You say whatever you want on this show. Plus, I know. Yeah, about. we're disgusting. Right now. <laughs> but but yeah, like it's ass eating season, brother. What are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> it is, brother. We're disgusting as shit. Name something fucking awful and I'll say it right yeah, now. Yeah, we'll we'll riff, we'll riff on it. Oh jeez. I, I I I don't know if I If you could go back spot. in time and have anybody's shoes of all time. Who would it be? Mine, mine are the Anne Frank 1942. The one she wore in the attic? Yes. Yep. Well, you know they weren't that quiet. Now you know the show you're on. Okay? <laughs> so we're setting the tone. Now you can literally say whatever you want. Because whoever listens to this is going to be like, God damn, Ross, Ross is the, the worst human we're being. Big, we're big Francophiles, too. We love Huge Anne Frank. Huge Francophiles. Oh, my God. We love Anne Frank. Um, so, you know, you can literally say whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I, I think I got that impression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throughout yeah. the show. But, yeah. So with 21 I, Savage, he was saying, fuck you and your, and your parents and the whole thing. Just right? all this crazy stuff. Yeah. It was, it was pretty funny. He's... He's a funny guy. Like, I wasn't expecting him to be that animated. And maybe, you know, before he goes on the stage, he's, like, super high. And, like, that's why he's kind of, like, chill. A lot. But because, yeah, a, a lot. lot. <laughs> There's a lot of artists that, you know, for example, like, they sound completely different live because they have to be a lot more energetic live. Sure. Because, like, um, you know, when you're behind a microphone, it's just, like, silence in the room. You can be as loud as you want. Uh, you can, you know, maintain your voice. But, like, when yeah. you're live, you have to be screaming. Like, Drake does not sound anything like he does live. Like, Oh, like, yeah, 100%. At, at so, I, I haven't been to a Drake show since, I think, his first album, right? Oh, so, wow. So, all the all the Young Money guys did this tour. Yeah. It was uh, Drake. Rihanna was on it because it was her first time first time out. Uh, Lil Wayne. Um, Birdman, all those guys, Tyga, Gutta Gutta, it all those was guys, a fucking yeah. awful, really? awful show. Really? Because yeah. <laughs> one, they don't. You're right. They don't sound like they do on the record. Yeah. One, two, their backing tracks are so fucking loud, and then they rap only of every other verse, and it's like, dude, am I, am I just doing karaoke? Like, I'm listening to you do karaoke to your own shit. Yeah, they just go like this. I don't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, I heard. Look, I heard Drake has changed now, where he's adopted more of the the Jay Z style, where it's it's him. He's on a big stage, and you know he's not using backing tracks and all that shit. But the first year out, I was just like, God damn it. Lil Wayne's still the same though now. Yeah, still awful performer. I love I love his music. Um, yeah, me too. But yeah, he's a t- he's a terrible live performer. There's not a whole lot of good performers these days, to be honest. In rap, no. Uh, like the the best shows that I've been to, uh, onesie twosies. I'll go. Uh, I'll go Jay Z okay. um, because it's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Him on a stage, voice sounds great, sounds like the record, and he doesn't allow all the bullshit. Whereas a lot of rappers have their hype men up there, so it's them and eighty hype men in the back, just bored as shit, <laughs> yeah. waving around a towel. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, yeah. no. Nah. Fuck yeah, dude. And it, you're just like, shut the fuck up, man. I'm here to see this guy. Yeah, I'm yeah. not here to see your ninth cousin yeah. get on stage <laughs> and, and fucking ad lib. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Damn. This is the realest shit he ever spoke. It's like, shut the fuck up, bro. Like, I'm row two. I don't want to see you up here. Yeah, yeah, but that's just third party validation. How do you know that Jay-Z's telling the truth unless his ninth cousin is there to let you know yeah, he's yeah, telling yeah, the I truth, know, brother? Ridiculous. I mean, and that kind of sounds like a Migos track, honestly. I know. It, it, like, it is. Sometimes, yeah. Dude, for, for real. And it's <laughs> yeah. all that shit. Like, yeah. that's what's going on today. Those guys treat it like performers. Where, uh, so again, onesie twosies, Jay Z won. Uh, Kanye, dude, I saw that. Uh, dude, he watched the Throne Tour. Crazy show. It man. was one of the greatest shows ever. I mean, but it, it's just the two of them. Even Kanye keeps all of the instrumentals, like all of the, the orchestra, behind a, a fucking wall. You can't see them. It's just him on stage. 
And he'll play like it's his last day on earth, yeah. whether it's public or private. I went to a private gig uh, for him. This sounds super fucking bougie, but in France, um, <laughs> wow. I, mean, I was in France at Cannes. In well, I had a movie there, so it was yeah. one of those like, oh, there's a bonus. Yeah, yeah. Um, 200 people there. Kanye was playing. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'll probably play for an hour. It's a private gig. The motherfucker played for 245 like it was his last day on earth for 200 people. And, and it was amazing. That type of artistry is missing in today's world like i it's there's, there's very few people who still do shit like that yeah that's absolutely. why i root for like a jay-z and a kanye and all that stuff like to this day because it's missing now it's all soundcloud 90 people on stage and it's just mumble rap bullshit like yeah i can't stand it who are you friends with in that world because i know you're friends with a, a bunch of these motherfuckers well i mean i don't like to even throw the word friend out a lot because like a, a lot of these guys like you know it <laughs> I would say I'm an acquaintance. If they saw me, they like say what's up. Yeah, yeah. But it's really hard to get close to these people because obviously, you know, they get used so much. But like, I know I do know a lot of artists. Like I, um, like. Uh, do they know, say, "Hey, there's that cancer kid with the mask"? Yeah, on there's that. Kid, kidding, there's that uh, Asian exchange <laughs> do you, student. Do you have cancer? Uh, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, I get that question a lot. Actually, are you sure that you don't have it? How uh, do you know? I, I, I mean, maybe I should go. Hey, get checked. can we get him checked out for cancer? Exactly. Guys, should we get a, uh, a cancer document? Show will pay for it. It's fine, bro. Who, who's the best it. behind the scenes rapper wise? Like, who's the coolest? Ooh. How's Post? Is he cool? Oh, the best. We're tra- the we've been trying to get him on the, the show forever. Best. We got a guy named Xander who cannot fucking do it. Um, H Factor Water. <laughs> Shout out Xander. He, look, he owns the best water company on the planet. God bless him. But he does not know Post Malone whatsoever. <laughs> and he well, will we never gave, be on the show. We gave Post a, a rifle not too long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. if you see a rifle with that fucking logo on the side of your hat on it, that's we gave that to him. Uh, he's apparently a big gun guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And he he's... bought a tank from a buddy of mine. He bought. I'm sorry. Let me let me rephrase that. He bought a tank. A tank. He bought a real a o- real only, fucking tank. Only post he would do something. Yeah, like I know, a which is awesome. Tank. Look, but if you're that rich and you can buy a tank, why wouldn't you buy a tank? I, I'd buy one just to do it, <laughs> just for the flex. Yeah, and then yeah. I just yeah. like to. I like to think of him, uh, and his look. Just riding around town because you know he would just be like smiling like an asshole, riding around <laughs> town in a tank like fucking whatever. It's yeah, yeah, exactly. He would totally do exactly. That. But yeah. I, I would do it in an asshole way of like when buddies are coming over, be like, "Hey guys, um, you know, parties at three, whatever. Yeah, I park whatever. Just don't park behind the tank, obviously, because I, I might I gotta go somewhere later. I, I <laughs> I've got to take my tank down to the car wash. I, 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 I would take say- the tank out for later. I'm gonna go to Harris Teeter, probably grab some juice and things. Just don't park behind the tank anywhere else is cool where you're just like, what? And then you show up and there's a tank in the driveway and you're just like, hey, guys, I said don't park behind the fucking tank. Yeah. Who parked behind the tank? Yeah. And then pull it out and be like, all right, cool. I'm going to. No, you can just run them over with the tank. Yeah. Yeah, Just do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Favorite shoe of all time. Red October. Go ahead. Red October. Really? Mm -hmm. Man, that was a fast answer out of you. Yeah. Favorite shoe of all time. It's just like the. My story about the Red October shoe is just like I don't know, man. It's just it, I think it's just the, one of the most beautiful shoes like ever made. The Yeezy Two is arguably like one of the most amazing silhouettes like ever. Yeah, like people love the Yeezy Two, and just like there was so much controversy behind the shoe, like it never came out. It was uh, it only dropped online. Um, it's crazy. Like when I was younger, like way before this Yeezy Busted thing even started, I didn't even give a shit about shoes. I was like, you know, I love Kanye. I want to try to get these. And uh, it was cra- it was crazy. There was like a line outside of my Foot Locker, like where I grew up locally. Yeah. And they didn't even have them there. But people were lining up because they thought they were going to like surprise drop or something like that. And they didn't end up coming out. But I got in line. I was like, fuck it. Maybe I'll you know, get lucky. Sure. But then I didn't get them online. And then obviously, you know, I couldn't afford it. I didn't grow up with a lot of money. Like they came out, I think, in 2013 or 2012. How, how, much, did, how much did they go for? Shit, man. Depends on the size, but I just bought. I just actually bought a pair like uh, three months ago. Yeah. I, I paid five thousand. Five thousand yeah. dollars. But that's for a, the that's sneakers. a that's a good price for them too. Like they're brand new with the box and Do everything. You even wear those at no, five grand. I've never you, worn. You don't them. even wear them, right? Well, see, this is the thing. Like, Do you box them up and keep them like in a in a shadow box? Yeah, like I have. Um, I have them in like this like glass case in my room. Do you ever uh, put them above your bed? Late yeah, I think I think about them at Have night. a glass of wine and then pound off. Yes, I shoes. mean to be honest, for five thousand goddamn dollars, you better be getting fucked. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna say that I've I've not done that, 
So I'm not going to say I'm not the shoes, short. man. I fucking I was just kidding. He's no, getting no, 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 but fucking weird that nice. You almost have to. Yeah. For 5k. Yeah. No, I've I've done some loads in shoes before. Yeah, sure. yeah, of course you have. We all have. Of course you have. Well, the thing is like that shoe goes for up to 10k. You know, I got a really good price cuz I bought it from my friend shout out Dre, but like um that's Did you just, just name drop? You want to pick up that name you just dropped? Or? I'm kidding. Uh, okay. I, no, no, it's my friend. My friend Dre. Um, he's a really close friend of mine. He's not like famous. Do- is it the doctor? Yeah, yeah. Dr. I, I wish it was Dr. Dre, but no, he's like this Croatian dude who sells sneakers. Oh. <laughs> so it's not nearly as this cool. This guy's like in the mob. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah Eastern yeah. Block mobster. Don't use his real name, asshole. Get, <laughs> yeah. get, get us all murdered over here. So, so how did you get started on Instagram? I mean, dude, you have one of the, the biggest followings. Um, I mean, fuck, it, it, feel, it seems like everybody knows you. How did you get started? Was it on accident of like, hey, I'm going to just post this picture busting somebody? And then like, how did everybody start following you? Uh, it was actually similar to that. It, um, well, first of all, thank you. You know, I don't really think that I'm as big as I, I guess I am. You got 800 goddamn thousand followers. I mean, that's amazing. Man, it's been it's a blessing. Yeah. It's been a blessing so far. But the way it really started was... Um, I actually had a fake pair of Yeezys. My my, uh, I, I got them for um, my birthday as a present, and they ended up being fake. And I didn't know that they were fake because I always told myself I don't want to wear any fake shit. I'm not like the type of dude fake it till you make it. I don't really care if people wear fake shit as long as they own up to it. Like yeah, you know, sure. fake Rolex, whatever. But just say like, hey, it's fake. Don't try to pretend like it's real, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway, got this fake pair of Yeezys for my birthday. Um, Ended up finding out they were fake. Returned them because we got them from eBay. Because eBay's don't buy sneakers from eBay ever. Yeah, are, are they typically fake on eBay? There's a lot of fakes on eBay, and okay. especially this shoe in particular. There's a lot of fakes of. Gotcha. It. So, anyway, so ended up being fake. We ended up returning them. Got the money back. And then I got a job at Starbucks. I started working at Starbucks for a year, saved up a bunch of money, and get, ended up buying a real pair off of Craigslist. But I did my research, so I knew everything about the shoe. Like, I knew, like, what materials it was made of, how it's supposed to smell, how it's supposed to look, like, what to look for, you know? Because I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to get a pair of Yeezys, it better be fucking real, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I worked my ass off for a year. Like I kept like putting money into my Yeezy fund, essentially, because I just wanted a pair so bad. And like, did you have a piggy bank that looked like Yeezy's head or anything? I mean, that would be rad as fuck. Ah, man, that actually would be dope. Yeah, and every I wish time I you had put one. money in it, or he, Kim Kardashian's like a, ass or something, Ooh, that, oh, would, that would be way, nice. real it's nice. Rage, <laughs> it's rage yeah, and it's ass eating season too. Yeah, yeah. Just, I want to remind the folks at home: it's October first <laughs> through May first. Yeah, after May first, you need to wrap that shit up. Yeah, you're just disgusting at that point. You're gonna get pink eye. Yeah, yeah, you are. You but, are. So, so you, you put up the first post and then... Uh, well, so actually what happened was I ended up buying the real pair and then I compared the real one to the fake and I was like, okay, well, they actually weren't good fakes, but, you know, fakes are really good these days. But long story short, I was a big fan of fake watch busta. Have you ever heard of fake watch busta? Yes. So... Um, for people who don't know, it's a page that calls out people who wear fake watches, like yes. fake Rolexes, yep. Adamar Paget, uh, Patek Philippe. Like we all the- had them. And Kyle, like, I went to NYU. We used to buy those all the time and give yeah. them out. And it was just like, some of them you can spot real easy. And yeah, like, that yeah. became a game in New York for a while. Really? It was just like, who's wearing fake shit? Yeah. yeah. So that, that guy's account blew up. And then you replicated so, it for the shoe business. Yeah. I, um, so basically, like, when I had the, when I was. Uh, when I bought the real shoe, I was walking around my, my campus at school, and, like, I just saw so many other people wearing fakes, and they were, like, telling girls that they were real, and it was pissing me off because I was like, damn, I paid a lot of money for my sneakers. You paid $20 for them off of Alibaba or AliExpress or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Like, that's not cool. You know, like... Alibaba's, uh, like, Chinese Amazon. Correct. Right? Yeah. And yeah. then... For those who don't know. Yeah. It, it, it really pissed me off because I'm like, I worked hard to get my sneakers. And, like, that's why... I, that, and I always um, say this to my fans, like, work hard for what you get. And because when you get the real deal, instead of, you know, taking the easy way out and getting the $20 fake, if you get the real deal, it just feels so much better, so much gra- more gratifying to actually say that i worked really hard and i was able to get this rather than yeah you know what i got the fake one it looks the same whatever who gives a shit right sure. somebody so, should make an account like this for personalities i thought about that i was yeah, gonna make like i was literally gonna make fake. yeah i was yeah. gonna make like human bust i swear to yeah. god because <laughs> yeah. I, I like i live and in I'll la send you all of my ex-girlfriends and oh you can no problem uh, dan's <laughs> almost been killed a hundred times, so times he dates the craziest oh, yeah. women on the planet oh, oh my god they are, it's it's at this point it's my fault for it sure. is he's gonna die he's gonna get murdered one day yeah, and absolutely. I can tell you, like when the when the cops call me, I'm like, who do you think did this? 
check his fucking phone and look at the last three girls he's dated. Probably one of them. <laughs> They'll probably take probably your, one of them. Who's are they going to take yeah. your face off too? Oh, I yeah. hope so. Yeah. Man, I don't want to. I'm an organ donor, and that includes the face. Okay. Take everything, buddy. <laughs> uh, I don't want my face go. Look at this thing. You don't want this going to waste. No, yeah. you take don't. the face and the beard. Wear them both. Yeah, wear them both. Yeah. Wear them both. Man, I like my face pretty ugly. That's why I wear a mask. You know, maybe I should get a new face. <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you, we'll get Kanye's face. <laughs> Let's do it. How many likes did your first post get? So. Uh, I posted, I don't remember when it was, uh, no, so December 14th is the day I actually made my account. Okay. And within 10 hours. What year? 2015. Okay. So within an hour, or no, two, within two hours, like this big account shouted me out for no reason. They just thought it was hilarious what I was doing. I don't know how they found it. And like, I gained like a thousand followers. And then within the first 24 hours of me making the account complex, you know, complex yeah, magazine, yeah, yeah. they found my account and they wrote an article about me so i gained like three thousand followers in like two days wow and then it's funny how i started too like i wanted to make fake watch busta like fake easy busta fake easy busta was already taken so sure. i was like oh i just knock off the fake and it was just easy busta which i think is a way better name and thank god that yeah. other username was taken yeah, yeah, yeah but but yeah like within like 24 hours i gained like three thousand followers and they were like and i was really surprised i was like oh why am i not getting hate because no, everyone was loving it. All my comments were like, oh, I love this. Because I was calling out the same uh, you know, college students that I was walking around campus. Sure. You know? And I, I was calling them out, and I was mixing it up with some other people so people you know, don't know that it's me. And because I, I like the you know, anonymity that Fake Watch Busta had, too. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to be anonymous. And obviously, you know, for the sure. suing shit. Yeah. But, but yeah. Very, so, very Banksy. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you way. wear a ninja costume like the full thing? I should, man. Should. I really yeah. should. We'll get you one. So now, do, Can I get a pink do you one? get sneakers for free yeah. just because they, they want you to post now at this point? Like, are they just shipping you free shit all the time? Uh, to be honest, I was telling the guys earlier, actually, the only pair of shoes that I've paid for in the last two two years, maybe two and a half, yeah. is the Red Octobers. Really? That's it, yeah. All right, so you, yeah. you're saving up for two years for five grand. I'm, I'm going to let that slide yeah, yeah, with, it's, with those. Because that shoe just meant so much to me. And, like, nobody's giving out Red Octobers for free, I'll tell you that. Of course. Like, you know, here and there, you know, Adidas will send me something. Nike will send me something. Jordan will send me something. I actually just got these for the Super Bowl. The Bape. Oh, the Bape nice. Look at those. Those like, are around. I, I'm telling you, Ultra Boost are, like, the most amazing shoe on the face of the planet. Who if makes you, those? Adidas. Adidas. Yeah, with the three stripes. Damn, so, dude. Man. Those most comfortable dope. shoe you'll ever wear in your entire life. Literally, I wear them every single day. Not this. I have like a bunch of colors, but, but yeah. So I just you know I, I got these specifically for the Super Bowl. Man, so. that's that's amazing. Yeah, the only the only fake thing that I bought that I got I got caught on like in public was I'm a huge George Washington fan. So I bought what I thought were his original wooden wooden teeth. teeth yeah, yeah. I remember this. Yeah, turns out they weren't. Yeah, they weren't his wooden no, teeth. He was at wearing, all. Wow. Ross was wearing wooden teeth for six months, and they weren't even real. They weren't even George Washington's wooden teeth. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Stupid. I, just, I'm a huge G Dub fan. I get it. I, though, I, I didn't man. know I mean, when you're that emotionally. I didn't know. I was wearing something. these wooden teeth out everywhere, and I was like, and they were like, "Oh man, those are beautiful. Whose are they?" I was like, "They're George Washington's, <laughs> our first president." <laughs> yeah. And, and then somebody took a photo and was like, "This motherfucker's wearing fake George Washington teeth." I hate fake him. Fake teeth bust the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake teeth I was like, oh man! I, so I took out these wooden teeth. Felt real bad about it, yeah. and uh, turns out the original he was actually buried with. So I, I, you, you can't buy those. Yeah, that no, makes well, sense. we can take him up though. Probably, I'd like you, to. We, we can take his face. Right? I'd like to. We can take George Washington's face. I'd like to get those wooden teeth back. He's been dead for two hundred years. I don't think his face. Look, is Michael Jackson. I mean, before he was touching kids, he got the Elephant Man's bones. I don't understand why I can't have George Washington's wooden teeth. Yeah. Just keep them in a nice case. Wear them out like we're going to the Super Bowl tonight. Yeah. Just wear them out. And, and instead of like, grills. Yeah. 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 Instead yeah. of grills. Special occasions. Yeah. Special yeah. occasions. Yeah. Obviously yeah. special <laughs> occasions. You don't, you don't just wear wooden teeth to fucking. That's a flex though. Yeah. High key. Oh, huge flex. Oh, yeah. Huge flex. Huge yeah. flex. Can you I, I'd have a, a like, you know, some type of exterminator over too to be like, is there termites in the area? If not, I'm not wearing the wooden teeth out tonight. Like, I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't want to risk losing George Washington's wooden teeth. That would not be what you, After you've been through all this and gotten so emotionally invested, can you imagine losing those wooden teeth? Oh, God. That'd be a, a, a killer. Yeah. Uh, so, but besides the Anne Frank 1941s, <laughs> what what's a shoe that, if you can go back in time, you wish you had? Uh, <laughs> was Anne Frank alive in 1941? We're gonna—I'll I'll Google that. But what's your? <laughs> if you could have anybody's shoe from history, who would it be? Oh, like their their personal pair? She died in 45. So yeah, so those 41s would probably be like when she was on the move. Um, yeah, the, the Anne Frank 41s is what I'd like to have. I think. Um, 
Well, I don't think I could say the same, but those are probably fire. Um, Hot, straight fire. Oh, yeah. Well, are you talking like like any sneaker or like that person's shoe? Any, yeah, that human's shoe. Okay, I would probably say because I want Andre the Giant's boot. From WrestleMania, like oh, yeah. five. I the one where boot. Hogan slam body slammed exactly. Him? Yeah. I want that giant boot. I want to wear that around. There was a and this just was, the one boot. By the way, yeah, this is one. This is a true story. By the way, is uh, uh, my my roommate in L.A. did a commercial for Shaquille O'Neal, and so he was Shaq was infamously known for autographing his gigantic size twenty ones and then giving yeah. them out. Um, so we had one of those giant ass Shaq shoes like in my house forever. It took up a whole shelf. Yeah. Like that's how big it was. Yeah. And I was like, oh, all right, cool, man. That's Shaq's shoe. And we had it for like 10 years. And it was an ongoing running joke of like, yeah, you know, my children were conceived in that. And like, <laughs> well, I mean, we, it, it never died. Yeah. Anybody in human history, one shoe, go. Maybe Michael Jordan's original Jordan one. Oof, maybe that's a big one. Yeah, it's crazy. My friend Dre, the one I was talking about, the mob boss. Yeah, yeah. Allegedly, um, allegedly, allegedly, um, he owns the original Space Jam sneaker that Michael Jordan wore in the movie. In the movie, wow, the that's movie. rad. That's it, awesome. It's worth two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I'm sure. What about you, D'Anthony? Anybody? I don't give a fuck about any of this. Nah, <laughs> you, you, you do. Yeah, but I bet you want some murder. No, that's. I mean, other murderers. Like the, the I think he went Dwight Eisenhower's shoe that he did, you know? No, no, no nothing. Here, here's the thing with what you just said. You know how NBA, <laughs> NBA players are all sucking each other's dicks now? Yeah. Like LeBron is serenading ex teammates and shit. Exactly. I'm not into that, man. No. I, mean, I don't, I'm not a hater. I mean, I'm a huge hater, actually. Yeah. But a gigantic uh, hater. Yeah, I don't know anybody don't, who hates know, more people than you. I, I don't know why I even said that because it's <laughs> definitely not true. But, anyways, you immediately uh, retracted. The I don't same like, like, I respect other murderers for sure, but I'm, I'm yeah. not. I'm not going to wear their... Can you imagine Jordan showing up wearing a fucking bird jersey? Fuck no. That'll never no. happen. Yeah, you're right. No, I'm a professional murderer. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Of so, course, of course. Dan's, by the way, Dan's killed hundreds of people in war. That's, with that's, the faces in the closet, right? Well... Wow. Or, or is that a different hundred people? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. I've never killed anyone. I hurt someone's feelings once. Anyways, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's uh, yeah, get back to that shoe thing. So, so um, you never... Nothing. What are you wearing today, Dan? I'm wearing On Running... What the fuck are those? They're fucking Swiss. It's the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn. I don't even know what that is. Do you know what that is? They're not. No one in the fucking. We got the sh- we got the sneaker king here. No one in and pro you've sports. Never. I've never seen those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one in pro sports wears these. They're, it's all like hiking. No one wears shit. those, Dan. Uh, yeah. No. No human wears. Those. Everyone in my office wears. What are, so what do you do in those shoes? What are those for? Uh, I kick my legs up over the top of my head and pound off into my own face. I get. I get that. But what do you do with them in real life? Like, are they good for hiking, running? Oh, hugging? I don't do anything. <laughs> Nothing. No. Yeah, you're. you're fuck, just... I, I'm an alcoholic. What the fuck am I gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> if I get up to the top of a mountain, I'm just gonna fall off of that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> yeah, I want if if I'm if I'm going shoes. I, I want Frank. like fa- like I want those uh, those Bruno Maglies that OJ wore that night. Oh man, that's actually oh, not wow. bad. I like want from Anne Frank to OJ from, from, an ama- <laughs> from an amateur murderer. I might take some shoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right? Yeah, because yeah. they do shit like that where they save the clothes and the and the whole things. And you're like, all right, cool, man. I could get X. Right now, they're they're been auctioning off a bunch of Tupac shit. So like, Tupac had le- love letters from jail. Uh, you know, clothes, jewelry. They, they sold his car. Actually, um, well, so like things like that. So if we're going back in time, I want the OJ Bruno Maglis um, from the scene. Obviously, <laughs> um, I know he's still looking for the real killer out there. So he I don't is, even yeah. want to. No, let's not get in the way of that investigation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Um, probably those MJ shoes from when he moonwalked. Okay, I bet that, you those yeah, are. Rad, yeah. I want the I want the red ruby slippers from uh, Wizard of Oz. That's a personal thing because I want to wear those out. Because there's some outfits where I want to I want to feel flirty and with, I want to feel young again. With you the like, you like the way it makes your calves and ass look. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it, it, it's got a nice kitten heel on yeah. it, you know, yeah, and that's yeah. important. Of course, because I want a little bit of lift, but nothing flashy enough to where it's like, oh my god, he's probably not six three. <laughs> he's got a little kitten heel. You know, I don't want people guessing of like, oh, he wears lifts yeah. no just something polite enough where it's like he's trendy yeah he's course. trendy um and then i i would say last but not least uh probably keller shoes helen keller shoes we're Let's also face it, she, she walked a lot fans, yeah. 
She walked a lot. She figured it the fuck out. Whatever she was wearing had to have been really comfortable. Yeah, I mean, she lived in a broom closet for three years, so you can imagine how important her shoes. I don't know that that story is true, Dan. I, I don't know. Is it? I don't think so. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> Confirmed. So yeah, Frank, Keller, OJ, MJ. Those are the shoes that I want in my closet. I think any sneakerhead would you probably say the same. You got to make a vision board, homie. I know. Can, can Let's you imagine? make a fucking vision board. The, uh, the, the ultimate, if you're a sneakerhead, if you posted those Bruno Maglis and you'd be like, dude, these were OJ 94's <laughs> night of murder shoes, beat me. You know, you just tossed up a, you double birded people on, yeah, on that's Instagram. That's an ultimate flex. For me, the, the best flex, flex of all time. The temptation yeah. would be too high to put those shoes on and go find a white woman and beat her to death with a shovel. Oh, boy. Well, Welcome to drinking, bros. We're getting into it today, <laughs> brother. If the glove uh, don't fit, yeah. you probably shouldn't have worn that shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, man, I'm not even a rapper, and I'm just dropping bombs on the show today. Um, who's your Who's your favorite uh, sports star right now? Hmm. Real life wise, I'd say Lionel Messi. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, is, and the, he and his dad keep getting sued for tax evasion. Yeah. All those soccer so, stars are getting why, why sued, are they, by the way. So they, they, need, they need some uh, Ronaldo, too. Yeah, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, too. Yeah, Ronaldo what the just, fuck is going on? I think it's this. The, the government over there, because they play in so many different countries, but their home country wants that taxable shit, and they're like, oh, we'll send you to jail, or you can give us $17 million, and it's just like, all right, fuck off. Yeah. These guys are making... I, I don't think like Messi or Ronaldo were physically like doing their taxes, like, oh, fuck, let me, no, let me finish it. No, Someone else doing is that. doing it. Yeah, exactly. It. So it's not... It's, you know... I don't know what's going on, and Ronaldo has like a rape case right now, too, like all that Oof. all that stuff. In Vegas, yeah. And let's face it, if it, a la- the last person that needs to be raping people is Ronaldo. That Jesus Christ! I'd, I'd lose my wife in two seconds if he walked in the door. Like that's the, that's the non-gay way. Yeah. He's the hottest dude on the planet. That guy doesn't need to be raping anybody. Like yeah. he could. Li- they are throwing pussy at that guy. Yeah. So like when I hear shit like that, I'm like, come on, yeah. not Ronaldo. Yeah. You know, if you pitch me somebody like you know who was missing like nine teeth or something, then I'd be like, eh, probably a raper. Yeah. Not that guy though. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah, I know. I. So Messi, yeah. do you, you, how much would it be to to get a pair of Messi's cleats? No clue. No, I, you ever I, tried? I you, ever, you ever thought no, about that? No, I've never tried. Actually, that's one thing I probably should look into. Vision board, yeah. brother. Yeah, hell I've yeah. got a copy. Hey, Josh, do you have a copy of the Secret on DVD that I brought? Give him the DVD. The Secret, really. If you put your mind to it, we've also can... got some construction paper that you can that you can print out some pictures, and we'll make your vision board right now. We'll make a we'll make Round a vision down. board. Let's after do the it. Show. We'll get it. Um, have you met Messi? I haven't. It, 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 like so, FC Barcelona is like my favorite soccer team. Like growing up, it was always my favorite soccer team. Uh, my grandpa. Because you're from what Bulgaria? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like that's like my my roots. My roots are Bulgarian. So my grandpa was a professional soccer player. You know, Bulgaria is not in Spain. No, not at all. Not, okay. not nowhere close. But yeah, Europe yeah. is all soccer. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, in Bulgaria, there's three soccer teams. I mean, there's a lot more than three, but, like, three main ones, and they all suck. So, you know, I always, like, I was a big Ronaldinho fan growing up, too. So, you know, naturally, I liked FC Barcelona, like, fuck Real Madrid. Sure. But, um, like, I just think Messi is just such a class act, man. Like, so humble. His fucking so story good. is great. Like, they, they picked him. He had some kind of fucking disease or some shit. Yeah. When they signed him, he it was, like, eight years old. He started getting treatment for Polio. Yeah, yeah. I think no, it was. I'm, I'm kidding. kidding. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it was something to do that, like, whatever it was, stunted his height and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, he got hormone, uh, steroid therapy. Yeah, so by yeah. the time he was 13, he was on their juniors team. But from even before he was actually on the team, they were like signing him to stuff and giving him treatments and shit. Really, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how you see talent like that. But yeah, he's some, literally the, like he and he and Ronaldo are the two best soccer players nah, of all time. Messi's the best soccer player of all time. I'm just saying, hands down. Between those hands two, down, hands down. Who's, it's not an who's won more golden boots though? Huh. Messi. I think it's, Messi's I think it's Ronaldo. No, Messi's no, won Messi. Seven. Messi's won more. More really? More Ballon d'Ors and more golden boots too. Okay. I'm ninety percent sure. Okay. I'm not, not 100% sure about the Belinda or, but I don't know about the boot. Yeah, I did, by the way, I did the exact opposite thing as a child. Um, like, the doctors were like, this kid is really fucking beautiful. Too manly? Yeah. He's, so you had to start he's getting estrogen. too strong. Yeah. And they were like, we're worried if he keeps growing at this pace, um, you know. 
girls could be killing themselves in the streets, things like that. So, like, of course. I, I had to take some stuff to really stunt myself. Did they just make you down. eat soy for like five straight years? Or what? Soy, um, and a lot of they were like, "Look, make him walk with his wrists like this everywhere." And I was like, "Oh, why?" And they they they, they tried to de- like fem me up a little bit because <laughs> they were worried I was just too great of a man. Well, I tell you what happened. Now you're into kitten heels, so maybe it had some kind of lasting effect. <laughs> <laughs> You may want to get Maybe. that looked at, brother. Maybe. The, the, the ruby red. Uh. Uh, athlete-wise today, currently playing, who have you met that you like and, and hung out with where you're like, that guy's dope as shit? Uh, I would probably say, um, do you guys know any of the Lakers players at all? Yeah. You know, Ivica Zubac. Zubats. That's your that's your boy. Yeah, he's my boy. Yeah, he's so right now he's the linchpin in this trade to uh, New Orleans. It's not Brady. happening. It's not happening. They're like everybody yeah. wants Zubats, dude. I know he's a beast. He's a, he's a, their center. How he's old a is beast. he? He's my age, twenty one. Twenty. He's twenty one years he's old. Twenty one. He's like Shit. three months older than me. Are they like savage? You, yeah. don't think, you don't think they're gonna get him? No, no, they're not gonna get rid of him. Mm. He was mad. It was what funny. if they do? Do you leave and go start support New Orleans? I mean, I don't know. He'll always be my boy, but I hope he stays in LA because I've always been a Lakers fan my whole life. I was always a big Kobe fan. Like I, Kobe's I still... my that's my favorite dude. Yeah, he's, Kobe's my my end all be all. Yeah, he's the goat. I don't I don't get down on LeBron. I no. just don't. His game is ugly to me. Where the shot looks herky jerky. There's nothing pretty about LeBron. No, he's been ball. going bald for years. The, that the, the scars to that's hair replacement. Is what he's been doing. So they're skin graphing and right, right, trying right, right. to put hair. It's not working. No. And I'm like, bro, just stop with the whole shit. You'll never be as pretty as Kobe. Like, Kobe's game was pretty smooth. So was Jordan's game. Yeah. I don't like LeBron's. He was just physically born more gifted than the, the rest of. I mean, LeBron's 6'9 six, or 6'8. Six, six, eight, eight, and yeah, like, and what, 300 just, pounds? Uh, jacked. Ridiculous. Yeah. Jacked and fast. He's but a freak it, of nature for sure. Freak yeah. of nature. Yeah. So he was born with, with the perfect NBA body, whereas Absolutely. Kobe and Jordan worked at that. You know, like. Yeah. Um, I, I just can't get down on LeBron. Who else? You ever met Steph Curry? I've never met Steph Curry, no. No, but I have what a lot of respect of his for him. shoes. I, I think they're ugly, man. So do I. I don't think they're I terrible, did. aren't they? I never I wear. I feel like he, his, he's putting out some dad shoes too, right? Last mm-hmm. year. Oh, they got he, he got, got lit up for that shit. He, yeah, he got clown rushed for that. Yeah, Rightfully they, so. Like, what yeah. the fuck was he thinking? Yeah, man? those were that, terrible. What, what was a marketing he's, department? He's years old. It could have been. It could, it, it could have been a marketing ploy, honestly, because it was like the wave, the dad shoe wave. Yeah, but you can't fucking like dads who buy dad shoes buy them because they're retarded dads. They don't buy them because they they're come from Costco and shit. they're not. They're not all of a sudden gonna see. Oh, somebody fucking made the shoes I'm buying for. 45 bucks for 130 fuck yeah yeah, yeah that yeah, would yeah. never happen that's yeah. stupid under armor yeah. stop yeah under, stop under, on yeah you, 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 you ever wear under armor shoes no no none i've, I, I've never they garbage? worn i got a pair of cleats from them um I, I like their cleats their baseball cleats well growing up i played uh i played soccer uh or football i guess I played soccer. No, you can say soccer here. We're in America. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If you want to call it football, go back to your yeah, own country. Yeah, you, know, you, got, you, you guys play like hand egg out here, I guess. Hand, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's uh, grab ass with a, bunch <laughs> yeah, of dudes, yeah, yeah. with a bunch of dudes in tights. Very but, grabby. Yeah. Very grabby. <laughs> but uh, like growing up, I always, I always wore... I was super into Nike growing up. Like that's all I would wanted to, all I wanted to wear. Nike was like the only thing I wore. And so I always wore like whatever Nike cleat was out. And those were always my favorite. Like honestly, I mean, they had a good run. They had the Griffies. I mean, not for soccer, obviously, but yeah, yeah. They, they've had yeah. some good shoes. No, of course, soccer is Adidas, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Nike it's cleats are kind of killing uh, it right those now. Copas. Those oh, those Copas, oh, the old were the school, co- the kangaroo leather ones. Hell yeah, those dude. are the best ones. Yeah, best shoes probably ever. A shout out to my parents who just rolled in. They used to buy me those Copas as a kid. I see you, mom and dad. Uh, those Copas were expensive as shit. Don't think that I forgot. Those are great so expensive, I was. dude. Those are my jam. Mm-hmm. It's in the book. It's, yeah, it's in the book. Um, yeah, but those co- those old school Copas, man, were the best. Yes, sir. That was the, that was the, one of the finest cleats ever made. Yes, sir. Um, Tempos too, great shoes. What about uh, tennis players? You ever meet any any like tennis athletes where you're just like, all right, cool? Uh, let me think. Rafael Nadal was always my favorite player. Yeah. Rafa, vamos Rafa. Um, because I, I I like in that world, uh, I had the the old school Agassiz as a kid. Okay. as well, like. Those and the Bo Jacksons were dope. All that other stuff. Do you keep at like? Do you buy any of those? Do you have any of those in your closet? Uh, not really, because it, it's to me for, for with my sneakers. I don't really like to wear athletic shoes unless they're like running shoes. It's kind of hard to explain. Like Jordans, for example. Yeah, I think are like the new ones are hideous. I would never wear that. Sure. Maybe if I'm playing ball, I'll wear Jordans. Right. But I would rather wear like a pair of Kyrie's or like some or like a Kobe or something. Sure. But. You'll never catch me wearing that on the street. Because I think basketball shoes, they just look too sporty now. 
Whereas like like the Jordan One, for example, is an all leather sneaker. Yeah. You know, people they used to wear Chuck Taylors to play basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? They used to also so, smoke during the game. Yeah. Just smoke cigarettes yeah. in the second quarter. It was wow. just, hey, we're gonna have a cigarette break on the court. Yeah. And that was look, that was a fun time. You yeah. know, beers at <laughs> halftime, cigarettes in the second quarter, pop up in a couple layups, you know, a nice fifty eight to fifty six game, brother. That's <laughs> what it was back in the day. Cigarettes used to be good for you, right? Yeah. They're still, yeah. They're still good for you. They're they're still Still good for yeah. you at home. Um, <laughs> no, I don't. Nobody smokes anymore, by the way. Yeah, it's crazy. Everybody smokes weed now. Yeah, yeah. That, Everybody uh, smokes weed. No one smokes cigarettes anymore. I know the tobacco industry switched all their patents, so they've all got weed patents because they're waiting, to, you know, for it to be legalized in the rest of the states. But like, even being here in Atlanta and everywhere else, like. Man, if you run into somebody smoking a cigarette in today's world, you're like, man, you were a garbage person. You know, it's crazy it's weird how that's changed. It's right? crazy because in the states, in the states, it's like if you smoke, a, if you if you smoke cigarettes, you're like trash. Yeah, but then everybody smokes weed and it's fine. Yeah. Whereas if you go to Europe, everybody smokes cigarettes and it's fine. And if you smoke weed, you're trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. Yeah, right? that, that's how it is. Like, because um, I, I I spend a lot of time in Europe and like I I've never actually smoked weed like ever. Like I'm probably the one person who lives in Los Angeles who's never. He's not a weed. narc. He's not a. No, cop, I swear so to God, good, like yeah. on the right hand. On, no, I like, was high right, as fuck last night. Actually. Right hand on the yeah. Bible. Dan, Dan smokes a, a ton of like, marijuana. I do, right yeah. hand on the Bible, never touched weed, um, which is crazy. But really? like, it's just like some, just a personal thing. Yeah, like, like, I like drinking and stuff, but yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I don't do that a whole lot. But like, what about acid? I've never done a drug. Mushrooms, nothing. Never done a drug. We're, let's get this guy fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I'm not going to drink anything that's on the table because I feel like it might be drug. Right, I'll just hit you with a syringe in the neck. Don't oh, worry about it. Boom. He, he, look, he's old school military. He's he'll, he'll hide your closet for 27 hours just to do it. <laughs> How many pairs of shoes do you have total in your house right now? Last time I counted, I had, I think I was like 85 pairs, but I have more now. That's manageable. Do you sell yeah. I only sell shoes that I get for free that don't fit me so if it's like a, if i get like a size nine or something i'll sell it because then i don't need it or i'll give it away on my instagram or something sure like to, like honestly in the last two years i've maybe sold 10 pairs of sneakers like nothing too crazy you know just because like um like my sneaker collection is worth like a hundred thousand dollars now and like you know on a rainy day it's a down payment on a house <laughs> if i ever need yeah yeah, yeah for but, sure but let's uh i've changed my mind let's let's rob this guy yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah I, live in, rob I live in wisconsin i think frank was wearing I'll size six <laughs> yeah. i think Aunt frank was wearing a pair of size sixes um i'll double check that out. i would resell them i would resell them. Or six american because yeah. they're different yeah yeah, yeah. I, probably it's european obviously we'll um, check on it josh look up with Aunt frank yeah can you look just please. uh frank was it a size six you gotta know if those are size six yeah we'll get back to that <laughs> um financially do you get paid off of your Instagram account? Like, how does that work? Do you do you have any other job besides Instagram or? or? No. So, um, like, I was I was actually a med student. I was in medical school. Like, I got into a direct med program after high school, and um, I dropped out two years ago. I I mean, I took a leave of absence. I can still go back whenever I want. But now it's like what I do is a full time job. Like, people think being a YouTuber is like, oh yeah, you just film on your cute little camera and then you. Put it into your computer and you upload it. That's, that's not how it works. Like editing one video takes me like four to six hours. Thinking of the idea takes a while. Yeah, we do it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah we, you guys we, know we how do it video is. video shows, of course. you know, six days a week. And it's, dude, it's, it's it rough. all day. Yeah, it's yeah, rough. yeah. It's brutal. And because yeah, my wife edits them. So yeah. she'll edit in the morning. It's got to render out. That's yeah. four hours, five yep. hours. And then I'll usually upload it at night. And it's, yeah. it's a full time job. Of course. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. Instagram doesn't pay me because but, but YouTube, they don't pay anyone. YouTube? Well, so do you monetize your account? Yeah, of course. So yeah. Instagram, for example, like they don't pay anyone. Nobody gets paid by Instagram, right? Or nobody right. gets paid by Facebook or Twitter. So on Instagram, the way I make money is if I do like sponsored content. Like I work with a company called StockX. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of StockX. Yeah, yeah. So they're, they're kind of like the biggest like marketplace right now for sneakers. Like I, I've worked with them since last year in January. So like I'm really happy with them. So you know, I'll, I'll post the photo and I'll tag them and like. I'll get paid for that, for example, or like any other company that I work with. Typically, for a shout out, it's like I, I get paid. Okay. But on YouTube, uh, I monetize my content, so it's like you know I, I get paid for the amount of ads that are on my video. Yeah. So you guys how, know how many? What what's your, your your YouTube account up to? It, it's uh, I'm at like uh, almost half a million subscribers. Shut the fuck That's up. That's great. On yeah. YouTube, thank you. Man. That's thank amazing. You. It's hard to build subscribers. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's super hard. We're yeah. we're you know. <sighs> 
Uh, we, we kill it in the, in the world, but we're just starting a video now, and it's just yeah. like, man, it, the whole different world over there on YouTube. But uh, YouTube's rough. Uh, 500,000 subscribers. So I, I would imagine your, your monthly is probably pretty decent from yeah. take home from YouTube. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So um, it's it, it's good. Like on a bad month when I don't post, I maybe post like one video. Yeah. I think January I posted two videos just because I've been so busy. Like, cause I, sure. Besides, you know, being a YouTuber and, and sneaker influencer, I literally hate what i just said i hate the word yeah, influencer every, everyone no, I everybody hate that. does just um, i don't know who coined that phrase influencer i like, mean it's stuck yeah. so congratulations i but. mean it makes sense because i influence people but yes. like i just think it it's, sounds like such an asshole thing to yeah do. like yeah i feel like if i said influencer like three years ago it'd be fine but now everyone's like oh i'm an influencer i have 300 followers and like yeah. it's like okay dude you know what i mean but anyway so um, so yeah, um, YouTube is good. It's good. I definitely like my, my parents at first, like weren't cool with me, uh, taking a year off of school, uh, because they were like, Oh, you're not gonna make any money. You, you're in medical school, right? Yeah, I was. So I wanted to be a doctor my whole life, my entire life. I wanted to be a doctor. Like I, in, in high school, I had like a 4.3 GPA. Like I had like, you were that dude. Very high SAT score. Hey, look, you're still wearing a doctor's mask. Yeah. So. I mean, it, it's funny. Cause like, you know, um, when I was still in school and doing the whole Easy Buster thing, like people are, are always like, "Oh, you know, he's in med school, so he's wearing a medical mask." And it's funny because, like, sometimes when we have dissections, I'd be wearing uh, like yeah, yeah, one yeah, of yeah. these, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, like my parents didn't really believe in it at first, and then they saw how much money I was making, and they're like, "Oh, okay, like you, you're making more than a doctor, so you can just it's crazy, stay at right? Home. Like you're yeah. making more than a doctor on YouTube." Yeah, it, I mean, it's a culmination of YouTube brand deals and all that. Yeah, yeah, but, absolutely. But, but yeah, I mean, it's been a blessing, man. Like I'm. Um, you know, I always wanted to be a doctor. I always wanted to help people. So like, but I'm still helping people in a way, you know, I put a smile on somebody's face Absolutely, man. and, and I think it's like a different type of help. But, um, if you told me three years ago that I was going to be doing this, like, I'd be like, you're fucking crazy. Yeah. And you know, he it, just dropped his first F bomb. There, right there we go. Oh, there, Boom, is, is, got, that, is that really my him. first one? Got him. Well, that yeah. felt good. That yeah. Felt, fuck man. Yeah, that exactly. Felt yeah, there we exactly. go. Let's start the show over. Yeah. But, but yeah, man, it's like. Like what I do now, like really make like I, I even yesterday I was I did a sneaker convention in um, Fort Lauderdale in Florida. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I flew in this morning uh, to Atlanta, and is um, that your girlfriend? Oh no. Oh okay. No cool. no. I, I didn't know. I was no, like, no. dude. Yeah. <laughs> Deal. But, is that yours, Xander? <laughs> oh, he's embarrassed now. Uh, H Factor water, by the way. We've been drinking this all weekend. I just asked Xander off Earth. camera if that's his girlfriend. Oh wow, this one's open. Hot ass women are showing up. I don't know if they were they were yours, you know, with you or not with you. But uh, who do you date in real life? Uh she's she's a beautiful, amazing girl. What's her What's her whole sitch? She She's still in school. She's still in school, and uh, I told her. Where did she, she go? Did yeah, she go to UCLA? Did you? No, wait a minute. Did you notice how he said in school? He didn't say what kind. Is she in high school? Don't lie to me. <laughs> is, she, is she a middle okay, school? So, so, is this an R. So, Kelly so, sitch? So, Tell so us, we're going brother. to we're going to underage jokes now? No, no, no. Uh, no, no we're, we're not going. No, there. we're no, not going kidding. there at all. No, just kidding. Yeah, no, she's in college. She's just a year younger than me. She's a great girl. Like, what, I, what college does she go to? Uh, she goes to school in San Diego. I don't really want to share. No, it's fine. Just Probably San Diego State. Around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's fine. She's, there's only one college there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, there's like there's like there's like three or four. San Diego. Yeah, yeah. Cool. San Diego State. Yeah, yeah. Totally it's, it's a dope school but yeah. yeah she's great and you know we've been together since before it all started so it's like you know and she gets the gig she likes all the sneakers or is she like hey bro honestly like i buy her sneakers but you know she wears them she thinks they're she's like, oh these are cute and i'm like they're not cute <laughs> like yeah, you know yeah. what i mean i'm like they're whatever they're yeah. not cute unless my, they have a kitten my, heel. Yeah. <laughs> my fucking a nice little kitten heel yeah. my fucking buddy's wife picks who she's going to root for in football that year based on who has the best outfits i get oh, it wow. the uh the, the one person that has picked all of march madness because we you know obviously we, we, we host a sports show there's only one person to do it who's won that million dollar espn challenge and it was a girl and had she knew nothing about sports she picked by mascots wow the whole entire thing and she won the million that's incredible so they had her on the, the following year to, to redo it uh, she picked like three teams out of like sixty. The next wow! Year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, That's mad it, funny. It, it's it's ridiculous. That's crazy. Well, it's yeah. ridiculous. I mean, yeah, she's cool. She she gets it. Um, like I I have like all my friends and family full support now because, you know, it's it's grown into something a lot bigger than just like an Instagram. You know, it's it's my it's my business. It's like yeah, I, I have a business. I have business license. And everything. It's like legit. Totally, man. I and pay and my I taxes. think for you know kids out there wondering what they're gonna do and all this stuff, if you can really 
you know, follow your passion and something you're passionate about and make money off of it, you're certainly a, a living example of it. So, yeah. I mean, shit, to be a fan of sneakers and then turn it into a six-figure job and that's all you do is travel around the world, it's pretty incredible. Yeah, man, I don't take a second of it for granted. It's like, I'm um, so I thank the man upstairs like almost every day. Yeah, yeah. So when yeah. If people say America's not great again, it is. Yeah. Shout out to DJT, Donald Trump. Um, no, but uh, that's. <laughs> Shout out my dad. No, yeah, I'm my... <laughs> but it's true. Like, yeah. I mean, if you would have told me, I don't know, let's say five years ago, just five years ago, of like, hey, man, yeah. I'm going to meet a dude who's super in his sneakers and he's making six figures, just making videos <laughs> and, and posting pictures of it. I would have told him to go fuck himself. Yeah, yeah. But now, we're, we're yeah, sitting I mean, here. You can still we tell had me to a go full hour myself. long conversation yeah. with a dude in a mask. Like <laughs> yeah. that's this is real life. I never take it off. By the way, even after this, I I'm still of, of course. I yeah, walked yeah, in yeah. with it on. I eat with it on. I drink with it on. Yep. Like, in you, the bedroom with you, yeah, with your yeah, girlfriend. I was gonna say yeah. you, bang, yeah. you bang with that thing on. Yeah, I never take it off. So how do you it's, spit in your mouth? It's glued to my face. Oh, how do you boy. spit in a woman's mouth if you this have a fucking mask? This is where this is the end of the show because Dan starts to get real dark. He starts to get. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to. You don't. You, well, he can hear it off air. Yeah, we'll off uh, where can everybody find you on social media? All my handles, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, everything is at Easy Busta. Or okay. YouTube.com slash Easy Busta, everything. At Easy Busta. Yo, thanks for being here. Super Bowl weekend, man. Thanks for having uh, me, man. Good, good dude, man. Follow his shit. Super yeah. interesting account, man. That's great. And, uh, and his YouTube channel is great. Uh, greatly appreciate you being here. Thank you for uh, having and me. And Xander, we're going to get a, a, another answer of where you're just picking up these women. Uh, I got to know that. <laughs> I got to know it, Xander. Uh, and shout out to H Factor Water. Uh, they've been with us all weekend. Um, for all the Super Bowl, look, if you're hungover like we are every single day, this is it. This is this is the water that keeps you going. Thank you once Ooh. again for being here. For D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. Good night, everyone. Uh-huh.